Hello everyone and welcome back to Dark Souls 3. Today we're picking up where we left off, being dead. So, basically we are going to speedrun strats our way to where we want to be. Rude fellows. You better back off. Okay, how do I want to manage this? They stopped following. I got a spiffy hat. What are you gonna do about it? What the? That's not cool. Rip. Thank you for the Titanite Shard. I like how this guy is just sort of non-aggressive for the most part. Get that Esther shard, get another fancy hat. Okay, now, that's the way I went last time. That's not the direction I typically like to go. Typically, I like to go through the doorway instead of going around the right side. Because eh. going in through this way, well, it's it's safer. I never tried to see if you could actually break the hay. I don't know why I never tried it. Wanna give me a uh, Lamberg? No? Okay. So, yeah, this is gonna take me back over here. Basically, the point of this is to skip over all of the rooftop that I went through. Um. So yeah, isn't that a lot more simple? That's what I think. And then we come back in here and there's a bonfire, ta-da! See, that's, that's nice and easy. Instead of going all over the rooftops, dealing with the guys, dealing with the weird angles, all that fun stuff that goes with it, I'm not about that. Plus, coming this way gives us a way to get back around them. It just makes sense. Not where I intended to go. <laughs> Things that shouldn't work, and yet they do. I'm okay with that little lap I just made, and I almost just ran straight off the edge because I'm stupid. 
Alright, let's go for Ecornix. Because I took a spill. Took a fall. I didn't mind my footing, I suppose you could say. You, sir, are mean. And I don't like you. I'll take a fire clutch ring. I don't think that there was anything else over that path. I think that actually pretty much sums up that section. Cool. The nice thing now is that we have this path going back. So, the cool thing about this is we can actually go backwards through the area, technically. And by going backwards through the area, we can sneak up on a ton of enemies. Not cool. So aside from these guys right here in the immediate vicinity that aren't actually normally here, um... Really, we can't open it from this side? Did we just entirely skip over something? Oh yeah, we did. <laughs> Whoops. Oh well. Yeah, we just skipped a boss fight right there, for the record. Um, we'll have to go back and do it. But, in the meantime, I'm just gonna run on over this way and ignore these guys here. Thanks, dog. All right. So I am going to switch back to the katana for this, just because fire and rats, they don't get along. As you can see. So now, we open the gate, and we're back over here. And by back over here, I mean we are over here. This is where I meant to go. Because now we'll be on the other side of everything. And everything will be right with the world. Sharp gem. That is something important that I am looking for. Very, very important, as a matter of fact. Because this is going to be a dex build, 
of sorts. Um, sharp things are good. See, now we're going backwards. Nothing has any idea that we're on our way. Except this guy who we actually did accidentally aggro. Rude. Would you stop that? Don't stand on the pots. You're too fat for that. It just doesn't make sense. I want that hammer, by the way. You can actually get it as a drop. I've never gotten it. It's a weapon that I really, really want on my other build. Oops. That's not the way you do that. How do I do that again? Oh, you saw me. I don't like these enemies here. They are kind of unpleasant. They're not necessarily the nicest of fellows. Alright. Let's keep going backwards through the area, because there are items I want. I just need to remember how to get to that. 10 out of 10 jump right there, game. 10 out of 10. There's literally no reason I shouldn't have jumped right there. And I, I tried, I did the thing, and the game said, you didn't do the thing. And I'm telling you, the game lied. All right, now that that's done, and I've got my stupid coins, uh, important, by the way, for the sake of getting... I don't know, something about that just screamed illusory wall to me. I don't know why. Uh, the coins, they're important for getting a certain specific drop of sorts later down the line. Okay, nothing that way, nothing that way. I knew it was around here somewhere. I'm on the hunt for upgrade materials and I never remember their locations. Really, I'm surprised. I didn't expect them to be so fire resistant. That right there is not a shock, though. Not a kick. Regular R1.
got a lot of the bodies hit the floor. This is technically the first one that introduces these guys. And then we fall down the hole. Reason being, Covenant. That's the soup. And the Warriors of Sunlight. Ta-da. Now we can be gloriously incandescent. Grossly incandescent. We can be spiffy, basically. That's all I'm saying. And now, as you can see, we are, in fact, right back where we started. Backwards through the area. Did some good stuff for us. We got the covenant that I wanted. It made the area a lot easier to go through. And we got a fair number of souls. So now we can continue... Now we can continue to go... Bleh, 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 bleh. Now we can continue to go forwards through the area. Because I do, in fact, want to do that. But before we do... Leveling. That is something I, I very much would like to do. Go spend these souls. And yes, technically, we can skip over the next boss. And there is something that I do want to do related to that. Uh, there's actually an NPC that we can meet. I've seen it done, I haven't done it myself quite yet, but I want to attempt it before fighting the next boss, because it has to be done prior to that, so it's kind of an important thing. So I can't infuse it sharp yet, and a raw infusion would be okay. Uh, refined, not so much. Um, yeah. That's, that's just basically where we're at. Pretty be careful. Now let's go get a free level first before we do anything else. Oh, I Nothing I want to buy. Then show them. And for my free level, I'm going to go... I'm going to go Endurance on it. Be safe. And then for my actual levels, I might throw those into Endurance and Health as well. Because I'm doing pretty fairly on Dexterity at the moment, and Strength, in all honesty. Do you have anything new to say? No. Very than take. Indeed. Yeah. I'll go for the Endurance. It'll be worthwhile. I have a thingamajig to give to Andre. One of these. An Estus Shard. And we already have the ability to have seven regular Estus. <laughs> it's kinda silly, if you really think about it. Like, we're so early on into the game and we already have so much Estus. So let's head back to the dilapidated bridge. And we'll move on from there. Now I'm curious where the enemy that I need is located. I actually don't remember. Hello. And yeah, I don't believe we can actually get that machete. I wish that we could. Jumping ahead. Yes, this is a good message. Jumping is a thing that I definitely would like to do. Whoa! 
Chill, guys. He's not fond of what's going on over in that building. Yeesh. One great scythe, please, and thank you. And I will be back for all those items. Don't worry. So now we're back over here. And by back over here, I mean on the other side of the doorway that wouldn't open. There we go. So, that is the boss fight. And I need to do this NPC thing before I do that boss fight. And as you can see, those enemies I was telling you about that weren't normally here, well, they're, uh, clearly they're not here. So. Yeah. So basically, there's one of those enemies with a cage on its back instead. I don't remember where it is, but I know I need to find it. Because that's the key. You just phased through the floor. What is up with that? That is sneaky. Like, that is beyond sneaky. That's advanced sneak. So really... Why did they just die? How odd. That's bad stamina management again. I need to find one of those guys with a cage on its back. I know there's one around, but my memory is failing me as to where exactly it's located. Um. Can I have that flamberge? Please? No, not today, I guess. Is it? It's not over this way, is it? Yeah, pointless ahead, just like it says. Spin. Rude. Okay, that's fine.
Oh, that's where the plank shield is. I forgot about that. Right, this is that one. This one actually gives you a hint of sorts. I shouldn't have attacked it. But I already aggroed it on me, so, you know. Nothing I really could have done at that point. That's where it is. It would fall in the pit. Hey you, get over here. I knew it was around here somewhere. I just always forget where this one is. Every time. Like I've seen it done, I've watched it be done three times, it's just I never remember where it is. And that's partially my fault, because I never really explored all the way to it myself. So there's a boss fight above us. We will be back in here somewhat shortly. There's our NPC friend, by the way. Well, what's up? This pit is for hollows, not for the likes of you, same folk. Or perhaps you are a hollow. Posing as otherwise? <laughs> yes, yes. Then we are just fine. It's important to know who you are. But we'll all be mad soon enough. And should you be undead, well, all the more so. Beware. The shackles of the gods are fragile. You might need this. Etch it on your heart if you feel your sanity is slipping. Come here to pile up your victims, for that will form your anchor. You will see when you go mad. They'll be your family. <laughs> You'll go mad. Take my advice. Use this bone and leave this place. This pit is for hollows and for the occasional madman fond of piling up victims. You've better things to do. I'd hope. <laughs> this pit is for you. And then this is where we do the thing. But yeah. It's kind of cool being down here without the boss fight going on. Seeing it all unbroken, no sky in the ceiling. My question is, how does he... Like, how do, how do they get down here? That's what I don't get. Like, if there were a way to, you know, get down here... ...that was actually, like, kind of visible... 
it wouldn't bug me so much. But no. Walls all around. Like, even if it was a blocked off a blocked off path. I just don't see it. It's a minor thing, but it bugs me. So back to Firelink we're gonna go. And from Firelink, uh, we're gonna level up. We are going to I think we have enough for no we don't, in my thinking. And we're gonna level up once or twice, depending on not even once. Not just yet. I think that'll be enough. Nope. Two more of those. Or just one of these. A little over, but whatever. Um, for this level, I'm going to go... Hmm. Vitality. Alright. And from here, guys, we're just gonna end it right here, right now. And next time, we'll go take out a boss. We are gonna take out the boss that was above where we just were. So, uh, if our friend is still down there, he'll kind of get smushed, but, you know, he'll be fine. I believe in him. I believe that he will make it out okay. But anyway, guys, I hope you all enjoyed this episode, and I will see you all next time.